We were looking back at 2016 for pig production, and then we were looking forward for the outlook for 2017. Um, so if we look back at 2016, one of the major things I was looking at was input cost and specifically the feed cost for pig production because feed uh, contributes 70% of the cost of producing a pig. So when we look back at the feed cost for 2016, it was very, very stable, uh, unusually stable for the pig industry. Normally, it's much more fluctuations in it. But the pig cost we estimate for, for 2016 was 106 cent per kilo. And really, it had very, very, it, uh, with only a slight variation of about two to three cent at the start of the year till the end of the year. So as we currently stand, feed cost is probably 103 cent per kilo. So the feed cost was very stable. Unfortunately, the pig price in 2016 was uh, fluctuated hugely. It hit a low in March of 134 cent per kilo, which was a loss-making situation. And within six or seven months, it had risen to 160 cent uh, per kilo based on uh, the exports to China. So really that was what really drove the market in, for 2016. Uh, the Chinese herd had reduced their sound numbers by about 12.5 million over the last couple of years. This caused a scarcity of pig meat in China, and therefore their domestic price rose, and therefore exports from Europe rose uh, uh, to, to fill the gap. So overall, um, with the margin for 2016, the margin over feed was about 43 cent. We estimate it needs to be 50 cent margin over feed, so it was a little bit short of that, but it was very, very similar to 2015. So the outlook for 2017, again, if we look at feed, first of all, the feed thing is, looks to be extremely stable. Um, the closing stocks for wheat, barley, and soya have been rising over the last three or four years and are extremely healthy. Each of them have risen by 25 to 30%, so it, is, it means that the closing stock is very high. And as a result of that, it means that there is a big buffer there for fluctuations due to weather, etc. So we think the feed will be extremely stable. We think the pig price will continue to be strong for the first six months of the year. Uh, unfortunately, the last six months of the year, we're going to see a cooling effect then as a result of more competition for the Chinese market, specifically from the US and the Canadian exports. At the moment, they're locked out of the market because they, uh, they're using growth promoters. But we believe that there is a bigger volume of, of production there now going uh, growth promoter free, and they will be able to export into, into the Chinese market in uh, the second half of 2017. So overall, the price to remain strong at the start of 2017 and to starting to weaken then towards the end. The price of a whole, we think, will probably drop by about 3%. Um, in 2016, we estimated it was 149. We believe in 2017, it'll be 146. This will coincide with a drop in the feed prices, which in, 26, in 2016 was 106, and we believe in 2017 be 103. So it's maintaining the margin over feed of 43 cent that we've seen for the last five years and the last 10 year average. The pig industry would feel that there needs to be a much bigger margin because what's actually happening is um, while it's meeting uh, a cash flow, the margin over feed of 43 cent is meeting the cash flow requirements of pig producers is not allowing for reinvestment in the industry and as a result of that uh, the lack of capital investment is, 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 is meaning that the pig industry as a whole uh, is aging, billions are aging, output is, uh, will reduce if this continues. Brexit, yes, it's, it's largely the unknown. Uh, we export uh, 40 to 50 percent of uh, our total exports are going to the UK. So this is, is, is a big worry, it's a big risk. We're probably not as exposed as the beef and the lamb markets because we are closer to chicken in, in, uh, from a substitution point of view uh, for producers, uh, of, sorry, for consumers in the UK. So it is still going to be a significant worry, significant risk. Uh, uh, it will depend really uh, how negotiations go, whether it's soft landing or hard landing, and whether the UK decide that they are going to import from the likes of Brazil and from the US. If that happens, then there will be serious competition for Irish pig meat exports. The mood and feeling for 17 is for steady, but the margin needs to increase for the long-term uh, financial sustainability of the industry.